Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So I hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So guys, as many students uh, are demanding to upload this video regarding machine learning course. So we are as per the request we are doing this guys. So this is week 3 assignment regarding the course introduction to machine learning IIT Madras. So guys, please watch the video till the end and please click the like button. Then only we will get you will feel that there is support for us to continue these videos. And please share these videos within your WhatsApp student groups so that it will reach to maximum number of students. Yes. So do watch full video. So friends, these are completely my probable solutions. Most of these solutions I hope are correct. So if you there are any few changes to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section. So now let's see the first question. Which of the following are differences between LDA and logistic regression? So for first question, the answer is, so both first and second options are correct. That means option C, both A and B is the correct answer, correct option. And now let's move on to the second question. So second one, we have two classes in our data set. So the two classes have the same mean but different va different variants. So for second question, the answer is second option. LDA cannot classify them perfectly. And moving on to the third one. So the third question. So we have two classes in our data set. So the two classes have the same variance but different mean. So for third question, the answer is fourth option, insufficient information. And now let's move on to the fourth question, guys. So fourth one, given the following distribution of data points, so they are given a, a graph uh, like this. So they are asking, what method would you choose to perform dimensionality reduction? So guys, I think uh, for fourth question, the probable answer should be second option, but I am not 100% sure guys for this question. So please let me know if there are any changes to be made. Now let's move on to the fifth one. So they have given the equation. So they are asking the value of P of, P of x. So for fifth question, I think the probable answer could be first option. So guys, these are completely my probable solutions. Please use this as a reference. And now let's move on to the sixth question. So sixth one. For the two classes plus and minus shown below, while performing LDA on it, which line is the most appropriate for projecting data points? So, for sixth question, I think the probable answer is orange. So now let's move on to the uh, seventh question. Se seventh one. So before moving on to the seventh question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So here is that. So for machine learning course, we have prepared exam preparation MCQs for uh, regarding previous MCQs. So with nearly 5 years of experience in NPTEL, we have collected these questions guys. So here you will get a huge number of 600 MCQs. 600 MCQs for just 500 only guys. And the access will be given up to for 5 members. So per each person 100 if you uh, share and you can form a group and you can directly purchase this 500 pack. So up to 600 MCQs you will get guys. So the validity will be till the exam day. And search option is also available and easy to revise so already many students have taken and got benefited so now it's your turn guys so use this opportunity so for 
if you are five members in a class doing the same course then you can five members can form a group and per each person if you share 100 rupees so 500 will be available and then you can purchase this 600 mcqs for each and every one and if you have to mail to this email id guys so this is my email id i will give that in the description box as well as in the comment section so please mail to this email id to purchase the pdf pack guys only mail me if you want to purchase this guys so already many students have taken that so you'll get 600 mcqs not 100 or 200 guys 600 mcqs for just 500 only so now let's get back to the solutions seventh one which of these techniques do, you, do we use to optimize logistic regression? So for seventh question, the, the answer is third op, I mean second option, maximum likelihood. Now let's move on to the eighth one. So LDA assumes that the class data is distributed as what? So for 8th question, the probable answer is 3rd option guys, Gaussian, Gaussian distribution. And now, now let's move on to the ninth question guys. Suppose we have two variables x and y, so the, uh, the dependent variable, and we wish to find their relation. An expert tells us that relation between the two has the form y equals m, power, m into e power x plus c. Suppose the samples of the variables x and y are available to us. So is it possible to apply linear regression to this data to estimate the values of m and c? So for ninth question, the answer is option B, yes. I mean, second option, S. Yes. Now, let's move on to the final question of the assignment. That is 10th one. What might happen to our logistic regression model if the number of features is more than the number of samples in our data set? So guys, before, before going into this solution, I want to once again make you remember. So guys, we have prepared, uh, we have collected exam preparation MCQs. So these are previous year questions. So you'll get 600 questions, guys, nearly 600 MCQs with explanations for just 500 rupees only. So we, so access will be given for up to five members. So for the, if you can share this 500 within these 5 members, so if 5 members can form a group and combinedly take this 500 pack guys. So the validity will be till the exam day and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise. You can easily scroll the PDF even going to the exam hall also. So please message me to this email ID guys. So this is the email ID you have to mail me. Already many students have taken that guys. So now let's get back to the final question solution. So for 10th question, the answer is third option. It will overfit. It will overfit. Third option. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week 3 assignment of machine learning. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups. So guys, don't forget to like the video. Please like the video and share the video. So that's it guys. So keep supporting me like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.